My name is Rhapsody, and welcome back to Shadows of Loathing. Alrighty then. We are in school! Uh, we've been checking out the culinary science, which we have completed the tasks for. We are also partway through our astrology, astrology, I believe it was, uh, class. I have record that we've encountered a spider, a firework, a gun, a bucket, three fish, and one Mrs. Pac-Man. So all I need to do is find another as well. Although, it's worth noting, like, hey, there are actually just straight up other buildings I could just go to. <laughs> can I go to the Scalar Wing from here? Oh my god, I can go to the Scalar Wing from here. Alright. Let's go exploring. Oh, I also still have to tell Jessica about the shadows. I find a discarded gym bag on the sidewalk, and as a psychogeologist, I walk over and the gym bag is full of rocks. Someone must have been using it for strength training. Upon even closer examination, it confirms the rocks themselves are covered with residual strength. I scrape it off and get some powerful grit. Five experience for my task. Ah, I see what's going on here. Righto, 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 righto. Uh, yeah, okay, so <laughs> the building is connected, but if I went out here to fish and chips, for example, that would be a new building. On your walk across campus, you get the nod from a disheveled rail rider with a grossly swollen bindle. Howdy, you buying? I don't know, what did you sell? Wares and such. Sure, let's see what you have. Good to hear, good to hear. Now hop on and follow me. Name's Ovid, by the way, Ovid Lobdell. Huh? Where's my wares, you wondering, Ed? It's all at the store, pal, and I don't care my inventory on my back like some cargo ants. Are you coming or what? Ovid's store is the location we unlock. What's in the bindle, then? With a wink, he gingerly unwraps the bindle. As soon as the rope is loosened, a massive gust of wind roars out and propels the hobo in a parabolic arc towards his destination. Huh. Must have been fun to do that. I follow him towards his destination. Thankfully, it looks like he didn't need to fly far. Here's Ovid's store. Depart from the back alley of commerce? Of course not. I have not conducted my back alley commerce yet. It's Ovid in his element. I talk to him. Hey there, pal. Can I interest you in some quality merchandise? What kind of merchandise? I don't know. Just some stuff I found. Have a look around and see if any of it catches your eye. Can you teach me any hobo code? Oh, sure. Do you know one for free bed yet? Free code for hobo code. Unlocked. Our hobo code knowledge has been increased. Let's uh, ask him what's up with all these beds as well. What's up with all these bunk beds? The university was getting rid of them and fine as sleepers, I say. Uh, okay, I see. They all have the free bed sign on them? Mm -hmm. Anarchist's hardware in case I want to cook up another nuclear bomb. A delicious oyster for sleaze armor by five. Worth? Worth its weight in gold. Plus two bleed to a weapon as well, a disposable ra uh, razor blade. The, I the scientists, rather, at SIT have achieved humanity's wildest dream, a razor blade that you can throw away. Gymnast shoes, cartwheel everywhere you go. We have found our new shoes. Let's just pop them on. Just so that I remember that we're supposed to be doing that basically every episode. Perfect. Alright. Now, about the other things he's selling. His Majesty's least favorite poems. Someone published a multi-volume set of every poem George V has ever read, in descending order of how much he liked them. This is the last book in the series. I can't imagine a less interesting book, apparently. Unfortunately, I really do want it as well, and it's very far out of my range right now. I need more money. Ugh, where do I get myself some money? I mean, I know there's a decent amount of things that I can start to sell. Like, for instance, I'm not gonna need all these bloodles. Becoming immune to... Bleeding does seem reasonable, but I only care about holding on to maximum one of these extra at any point in time, certainly, surely. Oh, let's throw away a... Uh, you know, I don't know. Maybe I want to have only two. Makes any weapon into a wand, I don't need that many of them, I'm not going to make that many wands. Tentacle seed, spider leg wand, okay, I can definitely get rid of a couple of them, certainly. Spider eggs makes you immune to poison. 
I also have the Bazaar Ring, but sure, I'll keep up to two of them. Uh, SIT Jazz Slacks, it's worth knowing that one of these was the one that was given to us, and one of these is the ones that we purchased in order to give back to ourselves. Sorry. I... Sorry, I think I've got a nosebleed. Anyhow, we'll make sure to give that to ourselves over at the, uh, lake. Still looking through the rest of these. Mushroom steak, yeah, I can sell a couple of them. It's worth noting, the muscle by one increase is pretty cool, though. So I don't want to... Don't want to go too hard on getting rid of them, certainly. The books disappear after they've given us all of the bonuses that they can give us. Why, like, like, there are some things like the Greasy Gloves, for instance. Plus one to Sleaze Armor. But I also have an accessory that gives us plus three to Sleaze Armor. And I also have an accessory that gives us plus five to Sleaze Armor. So, it seems like this has been outmoded. But it's also possible that some interaction is like, nah, do you have any grub gloves greasy enough for this? I gotta keep it. I only sell the stuff I know I can get extras of. Fragrant spores, for instance. I know I can get extras of. Honestly, anything that I loot ridiculously as well. So, absolutely your fairy's dust. Your fairy's knives as well. Your charms thereof. Your cakes thereof. Not the fuck bummer green. That's important. Um, I think we've basically gotten there. I don't need that many creepy forest fetishes. Not that many cosmetic wines either. Okay, we actually did get a lot more money over the course of that than I really thought we were. Gonna. So now I'm gonna need to figure out which of these I actually do want to buy back out. So, we're looking for... There we go. His Majesty's Least Favorite Poems. Absolutely. Uh, Titanium Staple Remover. This tool is way fancier than it needs to be. An executive affectation. Removes titanium staples. If such a thing could be said to exist... Um, pocket battery. Adds plus one maximum AP to a pair of pants! I'll finally have two AP! I know I have two AP, don't worry. <laughs> it's from the future. I like him. Jocklin Baseball Cap. The brim of this cap will keep the sun out of your eyes, which will in turn help your bullying. <laughs> and there's a mechanical calculator, an offhand item that reduces the enemy stats and HP by a muscle. What's about fine. Well, look, I'm gonna get the Titanium Stable Remover, noting that that is a, a, a completion objective thing. And then I can afford and will purchase the pocket battery as well. I'm gonna have to come back to this guy at some point in the future though. He's got a couple more things. It's a bit of a barrel blockade over there, but I'm gonna go for a little bit of a fish and see what we can get with this hot rod. Some poor student dropped their water bag in here. Sorry, they It wasn't waterlogged when they dropped it in in the first place. At least, I assume. We get the item, the waterlogged backpack. This... Sorry, the reason this was underwater has been lost to history. A cruel prank? Disposal of evidence. Avant-garde juggling mishap. In any case, some poor student's loss is your gain. Alright, what's in that? Bunch of meat. Ooh, a disposable razor blade, which I did just buy one of. A roll of duct tape for plus three physical armor to a hat. Any hat can be made more duct tape covered by putting duct tape on it. And that is true. You can verify that with science And unidentified chemicals. You don't know what's in this test tube, and you also don't want to find out. Okay. Could have been worse, I'm sure. You're not even interested in the poems of George V. Sorry, you're not interested in the poems that George V sort of liked. There's no way you're reading these. Okay, so this is the book that will put someone to sleep, right? At, or rather, it's gonna be like, a, like someone wants to be read a bedtime story and the prompt is gonna be use a book to put them to sleep. And the idea is that we're gonna pull it out and read it to them, but we actually, as soon as we interact with it, we're gonna crack them over the head with the book, right? I'm just, I'm just gonna try and call it now. And if that's exactly how that turns out... I'm gonna be a little smug about it. I'm, I'm just slightly more smug than usual. It's gonna be difficult to tell, admittedly. But, but, but it'll be true. Uh, on the walk across campus, a head pumps out of a storm drain. Haven't heard yet. Sorry, haven't seen you around here before. Uh, around the sewer? 
That's strange, I spend a fair amount of time in them. Are you familiar with the greatest hopes ever perpetrated on the student body of the world? Yes, but tell me anyway. Buying new textbooks, it's a scam. There's no reason to buy a textbook new. Spare your wallet and spoil yourself, my friend. Buy your textbooks used. May I tempt you? Advanced Vascular Anatomy. This is a book that will grant a plus max HP perk. This textbook is a comprehensive atlas of the human circulatory system. It even lists all the campgrounds, white blood cells. That still seems very expensive. Right? And they want it, you'd buy it new! Uh, no thanks, I don't seem to need textbooks for what I'm doing here. Fine, fine, just promise. Don't ever get your textbooks new, no, then don't let them make you think you gotta! He drops back into the sewer, just as a campus security guard turns a corner on a bicycle. And forces of capital. A fission chips. A wooden statue with a metal diving helmet for a head. And a sad looking hobo who's selling pencils. Hey buddy, I know somewhere you can go. The YMCA. You seem down, buddy. Not getting any business? Nope. I thought it was a real good plan, too. College kids always need pencils, right? But I can't sell a dang one of these things. Oh, they get that mean look on their faces, too. Sort of like a pitying sneer. Like they think I'm super dumb, or they must be dumb pencils that only write dumb answers or something. But that's no good. He looks at you glumly and rattles his mug of pencils at you. The mug has I'm with stupid printed on it and an arrow pointed towards the handle. Do you have any hobo codes to share? Uh, you probably don't want any hobo code I could give you. It'd probably just be dumb and wrong. It'd probably just mix up with the one that means free pie here with the one that means bottomless pit or something. That's okay. I'm a bottomless pit inspector. He looks glumly at us. Fine, fine, fine. I'm gonna offer him the SIT mug as a replacement for his own so that he doesn't have the I'm with stupid. And instead, I will brandish the I'm with stupid myself. Look. I believe in truth in advertising. Here, maybe try this SIT mug instead. Maybe that'll convince the students to think you're smart. Say, that might work. Here, I'll swap you. You got an item, dumb coffee mug. It's an offhand item, a cracked and dirty coffee mug that has I'm with stupid pointing on it. Sorry, printed on it with an arrow pointing towards the handle. This is dumb and puzzling on multiple levels. Reduces all combatants' mysticality by your mysticality once per fight. I'm gonna check back in with him. Hey, buddy. A very intelligent hobo selling high quality pencils. Thanks for the help. Soon as the kids get back from break, I better sell a ton of pencils. You got any hobo codes to share now? Why, certainly. He uses one of the pencils to draw some symbols on a scrap of paper for us. I'm also gonna buy a pencil. Might as well, right? I don't have enough meat for another pencil! Let's see if I can get any from Fission Chips. A man in a really slick suit, described as such because it is both expensive and covered in grease, is stuffing his face. He glances at you, shiftily, but otherwise ignores you. Alright, how about this guy? You want to acknowledge me? Or am I a ghost? This guy is glumly picking at a plate of food. Hi there. Oh, is something wrong? Ah, uh, well, I just moved here for school, and, and this food is... I mean, it's fine, but it just isn't like what we had back home. What's different about it? My dad worked at a barbecue sauce factory, so everything we ate was smothered in barbecue sauce. I thought it was ready for new experiences at college, but I'm so homesick. Uh, I can relate. For me, it was maple syrup. He keeps poking at his food and frowning. Maybe I can help? Wow, really? That'd be swell! He pulls out a little paper cup out of his pocket and hands it to you. There's gotta be some barbecue sauce somewhere on campus, right? It's 1928 after all. You got an item, the empty sauce cup. It's a little paper ramekin full of nothing but delicious potential. You carry sauce cups around with you? Yeah, well, like I said, barbecue sauce is a really important part of my identity. I see what I can do, uh, Floyd, Floyd Carbuncle. I'll see what I can do, Floyd. You don't happen to have any, like, here, and he just hasn't asked, right? 
This trash can is about what you'd expect from a trash can at a fish restaurant. I search it. It's all just trash, but one of the pieces of trash is big enough to fit your head into. I get an item, the greasy paper hat, plus one moxie, plus two sleeves of oh, a baby. A paper hat soaked to near translucency by fry oil and fish grease. And also 30 meat from the pier, let's not forget. The kid behind the counter has a glassy-eyed stare traditional to all fast food employees. Or rather, what will come to be known as fast food in 23 years. Are you okay? Huh? Oh yeah, just... Since all the students are gone, there practically isn't anyone in here all day except for that one guy gorging himself. Uh, who's he? I don't know, but he's in like every day, all day, and he's always eating. Sometimes other guys in suits come in and they all whisper together like all shifty for a moment. And then the other guys leave and this guy just keeps eating. It's freaking me out. What do they talk about? Look, pal, I'm just working here part time to pay my way through college, which in 1928 is completely feasible. I'm not getting involved in whatever that guy's deal is. I see. Well, what's on the menu? Ooh, baby. A little cardboard cup whose contents are one part ketchup, one part lemon juice, and nine parts horseradish. That's an extra spicy cocktail sauce right there. A potion that will increase our item drops and meat drops by 20%. A fish sandwich, burger style, a fish sandwich, hot dog style, a fish sandwich, taco style, and an onion style fish. I love the idea of a place that would just sell the same meat. The same protein, the same filling, but in various different formats. Of course, it would never work, but... <sighs> My favorite idea is the ones that would never work. Fish sandwich, burger style, a big breaded fish patty preserved in the... Sorry, served in the preferred style of the medieval mercantile class. Is it still a hot dog if it's a big slab of fish instead of a sausage? This restaurant says yes. But is it a sandwich? This restaurant asks you to shut up! This is a sandwich, the fish taco, that is apparently very popular on the North Coast for some reason. Yeah, North Coast, because yeah. that's the West Coast and fish tacos exist in LA. Is that a th I think I got an American reference and it was based around the geography of America. These are two of my weaknesses. <laughs> It's a single round piece of very thin bread wrapped around some loose fish chunks. And then of course, finally, the onion starfish. This is definitely overcooked, or rather this is definitely too overcooked to eat. But you could throw it at somebody. Hmm. Anything else I can... No, I can't even have another discussion with you at this point. I see, I see. This is a grid that explains what kinds of things are and are not sandwiches. It's surprising how often it airs on the side of sandwich. I see a sandwich radical. Can I get into any of these buildings? I cannot. Time for us to head over to Z Omega Omicron, right? Zeta Omega Omicron? You wander into an empty classroom and find a blackboard covered with complex physics equations. I erase my presence here by leaving. Ooh, this does not look like this place is doing well. This trash can is sparklingly clean. Probably from years of disuse. It, however, is the only clean thing here. Sounds like a raucous party's going on inside. Sounds like some very muscular flies are buzzing around a pile of discarded protein powder. Let's join in on this party! It really is going off. Just a frat guy doing a little grilling indoors. I'm gonna ask him how it's going. Um... Is it... safe to grill indoors like that? I mean, it's not my house, so whatever. Uh, fair enough. Can't really get the taste I'm looking for, though. Say, can I get you to do me a favor? <sighs> sure, what? I got a buddy over at Phi Upsilon Tau. His burbs always came out super good. Some kind of special wood chips or something. Can you go over there and get them for me? I gotta stay here and watch the cube. <sighs> All right. And this is Phi Upsilon Tau House. Zoo put? 
Hmm. There's a necktie hanging to the knob of this door, and you refuse to find out what that means. SIT kids dance to a different beat. This guy is still dancing, in spite of obvious nausea. And that guy's certainly cutting a rug. Hence the missing section. This man is ahead of his time. He belongs in Saturday Night Fever. This recliner has a sign on it that says free, which you assume means something other than it being free of stains. I want to drag it back to my room, but how much muscle can I get myself right now? I'm not well optimized for muscle, so it's entirely possible that I can indeed do this. Uh, I mean, I could put some sports shorts on. I could change to a skull cap. Other than that, it does look like I would need to consume. What should get consult? I mean, oh, maybe, maybe I have enough, uh, 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 yeah, I do, I do indeed, enough to get myself another basic level. I'm gonna buy some thick calluses, getting myself a seventh muscle as well as plus five to my maximum AP. This recliner gets dragged back to our room. Okay, 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 now that we're actually back in Ocean City, I've got a couple things to do here. We'll hang our SIT pennant on the wall. Now anybody who comes to think, sorry, comes to visit, will think that I'm educated. And that's the important part. I'm also going to sit in the terrible recliner. The price was right, but it's got an inherent stink. You sit in the terrible chair until you can't stand the stench anymore. And then you keep sitting in it until you get used to the stench. Plus three stench armor. Your clothes are redefining what your understanding of what a normal amount of stink is. I've already pretended to fight that horrible thing today, and I, I've i sat for a moment, I've gotten my responsibilities, I've rubbed the crystal, we've done all of the appropriate activities here, I believe. Hey Jessica, I found a weird little hole in space. A what? Like a sort of shadow pocket kind of thing? Huh. You didn't put your hand in it or anything, did you? No? Okay, good. You think that would be bad? Yeah, I don't know, but maybe it's just me, but it seems like putting your hand in a weird patch of shadow energy would be a bad idea. Okay, then I totally won't do that. Jessica opens a desk drawer and pokes around a little inside. Charles did something to a pair of pliers, like deionized them or something I didn't catch. Uh, here they are. You got an item, shadow closing pliers. Use these to seal shadow pouches. This is a pair of pliers made out of some weird shiny metal. Jessica assures you that the jaws come together at a special angle or something. If you see any more of those things, you should actually be able to use these pliers to pinch them closed without actually touching them with your hands. Oh, neat. Thanks. Oh, what if I want the things they could give me? My to-do says look for books at SIT. Maybe it's in the library. Complete the SIT chemicals course. Find the chemicals classroom, which I already haven't done. Find the, oh, complete the astronomy course. And if I'm having trouble at college, I could try getting some help at the library. I think we're doing reasonably well on all of those fronts. Nothing right now, Charles. I've got a buff from a cat as well, which is increasing my moxie, which I think I'm pretty comfortable with being my increase at this point in time. Is there anything else in this area that I need to be immediately attempted towards. I'm gonna grab some frosty flakes on my way over to Tony Fiasco's hat photographer, as I have a greasy paper hat for you to look at. Why is that a greasy paper hat? Perfect, I love it to be looking for one of those, click, click, click. I get my 30 meat. And charge onwards. In fact, let's quickly go to the Crystal Dream Lake. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wander around just a little bit. I wanna see if I can offload my pants to me. You hear some growling and shrieking nearby. This is the tormenting of a badger by the uh, sadistic fairies, frankly. I'm gonna distract them with expired seltzer. You give a can of seltzer a quick shake and hurl it at the fairies. They flit out of the way easily, but the can hits a tree and bursts, sending glittering shrapnel and sparkling water into the air. The fairies are sufficiently distracted by the spectacle that you manage to get away from them and hide in the underbrush. 
After they get bored of looking for you and leave, which of course doesn't take very long, you crawl out of your hiding place and poke around the area a little. The badger doesn't seem interested in any of the trash the fairies left behind, so it's all yours. A fairy knife and fairy dust. Hey, didn't seem like it went that well. Uh, you find a decaying nightstand. I will check its drawer, getting myself a sharpening stone and some junk mail. I'm gonna fight these fairies. I don't seems a robbery. Ooh, a little bit of extra HP. Thank you, buddy. I'm gonna uh, tell you to act twice. Oh, well done. You even picked one off for me. If only I was wearing my sacks of violence ring. Alas. I'll have to settle for killing them in two turns, rather than probably the same amount of time, basically. You won! They would call you the Fairy Slayer if that wasn't a weird thing to call someone. Any experience of having done so. I am going to give me the pants. Hey there! I got you a souvenir from SIT. You toss the pants to your puzzled past self. You went to the Seaside Institute of Technology? Wait, I'm going to the Seaside Institute of- Yep, and don't forget to buy a pair of pants from the gift shop. To give to myself? Can I just give them these ones? <sighs> yeah, but then you won't have them, so you'll have to buy a whole new pair for yourself. Which one are these? Wh what did you do? <sighs> if I tell you, you won't be able to make the choice anymore. This is nonsense. Yeah, it's pretty messed up. You want to make out? <sighs> I guess we better not. We didn't last time I had this conversation. All right. See you later. I continue on my way. We've handed them in. I just don't want to shake down the hardware store man. He gave me candy. <sighs> you know, we also solved the mushroom problem probably way too early. Which is to say, I haven't got mushrooms to fight anymore, and I need that stats. I need the money, I need the experience. Have they replaced it with combat in here that I can do over time? <gasps> there we go. I'm gonna close this, I'm gonna be responsible. It's a weird shadow pocket or pouch or something. I close it with the shadow pliers. You place the jaws of the pliers around the little hole and wrench them closed, or buy them closed, I guess? You get 10 experience for doing so. Hey, look, I'll take it. Any amount of experience, thank you. There's no way we're gonna find a bunch of shadow holes just randomly around previous areas we've been, right? No? It doesn't look like it. Okay, fine. Let's go back to SIT campus and over to the next of our uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? Fraternities. This must be SIT's math department. You can tell because there's a bunch of loose math lying around making a ruckus. And I mean a physical ruckus, not the sort of ruckus you get when someone tries to argue that 0.999 repeating doesn't equal 1. I'm gonna schmooze the math. Bamboozlery. Hey, hey, how's it going? Great to see you all. You're all looking real fine tonight. Woo, check out that denominator on the fraction. Yeah. Oh, hey, you've got a... Here, let me get that for you. You pluck all the addition symbols out of the math and stroll away with a cheerful wave. The math looks at you and leave. Uh, sorry, the math just watches you leave, completely nonplussed. Nice and smooth, 10 experience for having done so. The front door is overgrown with vines. At some point, I'm going to have to figure out how to take those down, right? Some vine killer of a type. I'm not seeing an alternative entrance here. All right. Let's make our way rudely into the backyard. This trash can smells as good as it looks. And a fraternity guy is tending to the barbecue here. I'm going to talk to him. Hi, what you doing? Queuing. What? It's a cute way to say barbecue in here. Try one of these bad boys. You got an item, vegetable sausage? 
A sausage made in a mass, sorry, shaped mass of leaves and mulch in a potato skin casing. It increases our maximum HP by seven. Uh, what is it? Oh, it's a special plant-based sausage I'm working on. Is it any good? I didn't call it a good boy now. I figure I need another. About 80 or 90 years to get it right. I see. Well, thanks all the same. Don't mention it. Say, you like the cue? Yes, I love it more than anything is an exaggeration, but who's asking is pointless secrecy. I like the idea of pointless secrecy. Who's asking? Well, I have one of these queuing forks. I got like ten of them. Once people know you're into queuing, they start getting them for every birthday in Crimbo. You got an item named Barbecue Fork. It's a magical weapon that deals mysticality plus four hot damage. Ooh, we haven't got that many things dealing hot damage at the moment. This is important. If you want to move a sausage around on a grill, there ain't no better tool than a pair of tongs. And if you don't have a pair of tongs, I guess you can try and make do with one of these things. Gosh, thanks! He nods and returns to his queue. Hey, a guy over at Zeta Omicron... Zeta Omega Omicron sent me over here to get some kind of special wood chips? Oh, sure, I know who you mean. What he wants is mesquite. Just shave a little off of the bark of that mesquite tree over there. Uh, thanks! This is a mesquite tree, unless you're mistaken. I could save some chips off, but let's have a look at the rest of the area first. This guy's shivering, and his teeth are chattering loudly. I'm gonna ask him what's wrong about that. I, 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 hanging out at the weird st stone frat, and I left my jacket at the, the, the bar. I'm freezing. I guess there is a kind of unnatural chill in the air. I'm real susceptible to changes in narrative atmosphere. If you're headed in the direction of Lambda Iota Theta, can you stop and get my jacket for me? It's soft and comforting. Location unlocked. Lambda Iota... Uh, Lambda Yota Theta, sorry. Sure, no problem. Th thanks. Please. It's the unsinkable Molly Buttons. This pot contains dozens of different kinds of flowers, all grafted together into some kind of weird smelling plant and style. Excuse me? You know as well as I do, game, that's a plant and stein's monster. This cat is writhing around in a pile of catnip, either in agony or ecstasy. I get closer to figure it out. You definitely avoid the flailing claws and gnashing teeth and give him a little scratchy on the chin. As you do, you see his collar, which reads Sprig. New cat unlocks. You can now pet Sprig to receive a boon. I rub the belly now. Do I want Sprig's boon, which is Muscle? Yes. Get Sprig's instead. Thank you for the Muscle, friend. It's a Shrubberman of some sort. And I talk to the Shrubberman. What's this shrub you're working on? It's a new strain of Super Aloe. I think I've heard of aloe. That's a medicinal thing, right? Yeah, it's really great for burns and rashes and so on. Here, try some. You got an item, Glob of Super Aloe. It is a combat item when you're on fire. Nothing brings relief quite like wet goo on a rag. You'll pretend and remove on fire from the target. Neat, thanks. Thanks again for the great plant cube. Sure thing. This guy, this frat guy, in fact, is tending a row of multi-smelling plants. Ooh, I talked to him. He looks busy, you don't really have reason to bother him yet. The plant's really hopping? Yeah, exactly as I expected, right? I like that guy. We, we gotta get in close with that guy. He's got the cheapest booze around. Maybe I'll be able to send some over to my speakeasy? Actually, where did you leave it? Uh, in Lambda Yota Theta. Somewhere around the barn, it's quiet in there and gives him the heebie jeebies. There's our mesquite chips, which we gather the chips of bark, leaving the tree none worse for wear, we hope. Before heading along to the next of our frats. With a not exactly audible hiss, some of the strange bar-shaped shadows you saw at the fridge factory slide into view from nowhere. They arrange themselves into a circle and orbit around the central point, which opens like an eye, revealing a diamond-shaped prism of black shadow. Man, are there any geometry presses around? They'd love to see this! I fight the... 
shapes? Oh boy, it is shapes. Straight up shapes. Oh boy. I'm cold as hell now as well. That cold has removed my AP. AP? Excuse me. Ooh, that could cause a problem. Do I have any way to gain for myself another AEP? I do. A smelling salts will do that. By getting myself one, I can now roll sacks of violence for the AoE damage. And I'm also going to throw some bleed at the central target. Alright, I think we are all good, Captain. Call for backup to get a little bit of HP out of them. Nice. Happy to have done the fight as well for a little bit more experience. We get 10 of that. You won! Take your non-Euclidean bullcrap elsewhere, bozos! Maurice the Mosquito grows stronger. And in fact, just before we start exploring this next fraternity, I think it is an appropriate time to take a break until the next episode. Until then, my name is been Rhapsody, the name of the game is Mean Shadows Over Loathing. Top left is a series playlist, YouTube recommendation down below, streaming pass, are the names of the people so generously supporting the Republic on Patreon.com slash Rhapsody plays at or above the thank tier. And a special thanks this episode to Tristan. Hopefully you all be enjoying yourselves and hopefully I'll see you all next time.